9A4172VIKHR is a Russian laser-guided anti-tank missile. 9K121 is the GRAU designation for the missile system. The missile is launched from ships, CAR-50, CAR-52 helicopters and Su-25T aircraft. It was first shown publicly at the 1992 Farnborough Air Show. Description the missile is designed to engage vital ground targets, including armored targets fitted out with built-in and add-on explosive reactive armor, at a range of up to 8 km when fired from a helicopter and 10 km when fired from a fixed-wing aircraft in daytime and up to 5 km at night, as well as air targets and conditions of air defense assets activity. The VIKHR-1 missile is part of the VIKHRM system, which also includes an automatic sight and a depressible launcher. Adopted in 1990, the automatic sight is provided with TV and IR channels for target sighting, a laser beam channel for missile control, a laser range finder, an automatic target tracking unit, a digital computer and a system for stabilization and aiming the sighting and beam channels. The automatic sight provides for target detection and identification both by day and night automatic target tracking and missile guidance, and generates exact information for gun and rocket firing. The guided missile consists of a heat fragmentation warhead fitted with a contact and a proximity fuse, an air dynamic control actuator, control electronics, a motor and laser detector. It is kept in a sealed launching transporting container. The multi-purpose warhead allows the missile to be used against armored, airborne and area targets alike. This is an advantage compared to the three different missiles required in the 9M120 attack of E complex. The use of the proximity fuse allows a near miss of up to 5M and makes it possible to engage an air target at speeds of 500 meters per second. The VIKHR missile laser beam control system provides for its precise guidance owing to data transmission to the missile in the course of its launch, which is excluded in homing systems. The VIKHR missile control system has high jamming immunity because its receiver faces the carrier, thereby protecting it from jamming signals. The high pinpoint target hit probability is provided by the automatic target tracking system and highly accurate missile control system that makes allowance for changes in the parameters of the carrier and the target in the course of firing. The missiles can be fired singly or in pairs. The high flight speed allows it to engage targets rapidly. The system is capable of launching VIKHR missiles against two to four targets during a 30-second period and starting at a range of 10 km, which increases its lethality to three to four times that of earlier systems. Confusion with the 9M120 Ateca V There was much confusion toward the end of the 1980s regarding the latest Soviet anti-tank systems. The end of the Cold War cleared much of this up but also led to a general failure to properly publicize new information. This has resulted in a large portion of Western literature including incorrect information. The most common error is simply confusing the 9M120 Ateca V complex with the 9A4172 VIKHR system. These are completely different systems that have been competing for the Russian market. Mil Moscow helicopter plant favors the former while Sukhoi and Kamov favor the latter. As some foreign Mi-24 derivatives have actually been fitted with the 9A4172 the most reliable way to tell them apart is to look for the number of barrels, 8 per launcher for the helicopter-borne 9M120 and the fixed-wing version of the 9A4172 and 6 per launcher for the helicopter version of the 9A4172. A four-barrel launcher is typical of the Igla short-range anti-aircraft missile. Russia does not use currently four-barrel launchers for airborne anti-tank systems although this will possibly change with the next generation of missile. The next most common error is in understanding the guidance systems, the 9M120 is a radio command SACLOS missile and an improved version of the popular 9K114 term system carried on the Mi-24V and by some ground units. This system gradually loses accuracy at longer ranges but can be fired in any condition where a target can be spotted. On the other hand, the 9A4172 is a laser beam riding missile. When this first became known, it caused much confusion in the West. 
Analysts simply assumed that the Soviet designers had produced a weapon similar to the AGM-114 Hellfire, which uses semi-active laser homing. Early artist impressions even went so far as to show what appears to be a miniature copy of the KH-29L. When the first good photographs appeared they led to still more confusion, there was no visible seeker. All of this was a long way from the mark, Russia had developed a very different approach. A series of non-imaging detectors face backwards from the missile toward the launch platform and guide the missile toward the center of the laser beam. This is much cheaper and also more resistant to countermeasures. To capitalize on the advantage given by using a lower cost seeker the Soviet designers also produced a new flight control system, fixed fins cause the missile to spin in flight and a single moving control surface adjusts its course during this rotation. The result is that for the cost of one equivalent Western model, the Soviets could build five. Any loss of effectiveness being partially counteracted by pilots being encouraged to fire their missiles in pairs. External links WWWAIR WARU Notes References Russia's Arms Catalogue 2004, Jane's Air Launched Weapons, Issue 36. WWWAIR WARU